In this video, we are going to give you an overview of the various components of the Unreal Ed user interface. But what we're not going to do is talk to you about what each button, menu, knob, switch, and dial does, are we? Right, that would take us way too close into the individual inner workings of everything. Instead, we would rather point out the way all of these elements are grouped, the different areas of the interface, and what buttons they contain, what their purpose is. That's right. Now, starting at the very top of the user interface, we have the menu bar, which has a series of menus very much like just about any Windows application you've ever used. Just underneath this, we have the toolbar, which has a lot of common functions, many of which are already found up inside the menus, uh, but you'll be reaching for these a lot when you start actually creating your levels. If we move down from here and starting on the left side of the screen, we have the toolbox. Now, the toolbox is broken up into several key elements in and of itself uh, with various functions ranging from what mode the editor is in to some primitive shapes that you can add into your level uh, and other things, too, that we'll be talking about once we actually get to the video about the toolbox. Now, if we move to the right, we have four areas that look very similar to one another, and these are the viewports. And viewports are your windows into the world. We'll talk more about what they are and how they work uh, in an upcoming video. But at the top of each one of these viewports, we have a toolbar, which has a, a series of settings for each viewport, works individually on each viewport. Underneath our viewports at the very bottom of the interface, it's really close to the bottom of your screen, we have the console bar, which gives you a, a series of information based on what you have selected as you move things around, and it gives you some some features that you can turn on and off, such as snapping and auto-saving. So in all, that is the entire user interface. Now, fortunately, that's not where we're going to end it. Over the next several videos, we're going to break down each and every part of this user interface bit by bit and show you what everything does. But that is going to wrap things up for this video.